for the longest time, I have been just beating myself up about making bad decisions or, you know, doing things that I normally wouldn't do. And it's there's there's a difference between, you know, coming to terms with the fact that you made mistakes and just harping on them and belittling yourself and making yourself feel like you are just all of your mistakes all at once, all at one time. You are the human form of your mistakes and just feeling so low and feeling just so bad about yourself. And I think, honestly, the best thing that you can do is tell yourself, you fucked up. You did something that was fucked up or you simply just fucked up. And now it's time to move forward and it's time to, you know, apologize to yourself for, for, for being stuck in this bullshit. And I'm not saying don't apologize to the person that you hurt. Obviously do that, obviously. But it's the, it's the feeling after. It's the feeling after someone has told you that you hurt them it's the feeling of sinking regret. It's the feeling of not wanting to move forward in life because you feel like you just ruined everything. And um, it sucks. It's just, like, such a shitty feeling. And it's it doesn't permanently go away, but I think to combat it, you really have to tell yourself, I fucked up. I'm going to do better. I am not my mistakes. Because you're not. You're not your past. Your past are things that have already happened. There are things that you can't change, and there are things that that already fucking happened. You have to move forward and realize that you are in control, and that if you ever become out of control, or or you make an error, or you make another mistake, or you fuck up again, that you can still be forgiven, and that you should forgive yourself, and that you should move forward with your life. And I mean that honestly. I'm really, really, really so sick of just feeling like, just so, like, garbage about myself that I can't move forward because I just feel like no matter what I do it's just like a sinking cave of bullshit that I'm being lured into that's just a long analogy isn't it but I'm just saying it just um for a long time like if you're really like if you're really 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 beating yourself up about something that you did and you've already apologized for what you've done and you're still feeling some type of way, you have not forgiven yourself. You have not forgiven yourself. And forgiving yourself doesn't come from someone else forgiving you. Forgiving yourself means that you're really telling yourself, listen, I am more than this, I'm bigger than this, and I'm better than this. This is not the last of me. I will not be remembered for this bullshit that I'm so fucking consumed by. I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to forgive myself. And I think if you really tell yourself that, and you really tell yourself that we are going to try better, and we are going to be better next time, then you can't be so mad, and you can't be so hurt, and maybe you'll cry a little less, because you'll realize that, you know, life goes on. Life goes on. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone fucks up and everyone feels like shit every once in a while. But the thing is, you shouldn't be feeling like shit all the time because it's not worth it. Life is way too fucking short. Granted, it's the longest thing you do. But really, in the scheme of things, life is just gone. I mean, look at how old you are. Remember when you were five? Remember when you were, I don't know, a womb? Probably not. But what I'm trying to say is, forgive yourself. 